Like computers, automotive technologies are changing at a fantastic rate. There are so many innovative ways that manufacturers are keeping drivers and passengers safe that airbags are almost taken for granted now. Whether it's adaptive cruise control that gently applies the brakes as someone slows in front of you, or lane departure warning systems that beep and even nudge you back into your lane, safety is becoming so high-tech that it's only a matter of time before cars can autopilot themselves in an emergency. Currently, our cars can even completely stop for us in the case of Volvo's groundbreaking city safety system, but only if we're driving under 19 miles per hour. Until cars can completely stop themselves at highway speeds, Mercedes-Benz has the next best thing with its new pre-safe brake system on the 2010 E-Class. Pre-safe uses radar to gauge how close you are to traffic ahead, and if you're going too fast to safely avoid a collision, it engages the brakes up to 40% and primes the brakes to deliver full power when you slam on the pedal. If you don't engage the brake pedal by half second before estimated impact, the car will engage the brakes 100%, reducing the car's speed and likeliness of serious injury. We recently had the opportunity to put pre-safe brake to the test with the help of Jochen Hobb, Mercedes-Benz's Manager of Technical Support, Product Events Active Safety. So in this first uh, run here, we're going to run up to that wall, which has also some radar elements in it resembling a car. Um, and we're just going to hear the warning, which is two and a half seconds before there would be an impact. So you hear that beep, and if I react to that beep, you see I can brake easily. Okay? Um, and again, uh, this works in the Stronic mode or off, on or off, no matter. So the first time I did it with, now I'm going to do it without. Same thing, go away. Yeah. Okay, so you're going to hear the beep around here. Okay, and now I'm braking, but only slightly. And you hear even the ABS coming and the car adding power. Now the secret to that is, most people do break before an accident, we found out. But also most people break not hard enough. That's why, that's why there is an accident. So what we do is, we have that radar information, we just add that needed braking power. When the first beep comes, we pre-fill the brake, and then if you hit the brake only 30%, let's say, and the car figured you'd need it 70 or so, it would just add that rest. Now, up to 100% even, if needed. Again, you get the beep, and you get the partial brake, and then... And that's the reason why we only do partial brake. Because you still have the option of going around, steering. Look at the energy before impact, if you would run into it without braking. And then you're, as opposed to running into it with partial and then full brake, uh, you get a speed reduction of 20 kilometers an hour, which would be 12 and a half miles. Uh, and you get an energy reduction if you look at energy before and energy after and do a percentage comparison of 75 to 80 percent. Okay, now again, automatic driving, I'm not doing anything. You get the beep, you get the partial brake, and then immediately before the impact, you felt it, mm -hmm. that second right. dip. Right. And it seems like it's not much, but you're talking about five, six miles an hour that you're reducing it here. Right. And that could make the difference, of course. Again, there will be a crash, but much, le much less severe in this case. And again, you're only talking about the rest of 10 to 15 percent of all rear-end collisions that you haven't handled with the other systems before, because people do react normally. For more information on automotive technology, interviews, reviews, and news, please visit kbb.com today.